Hello, this is Jamie Magrich. Welcome to Jamie's Craft Table. Today I'm going to show you how I made this card. It started uh, from another card that I made and I kind of liked this. I had stamped off onto my scrap paper and I kind of liked this part of the image. So I recreated it sort of and let's get started. For the consumables, <clears throat> Excuse me. I have my card base. It's this thick five and a half by eight and a half, scored and folded at four and a quarter. I have a piece of Whisper White, which is three by five and a quarter. I have a piece of Soft Sea Foam, which is two and three quarters by four and a quarter. A piece of Whisper White, which is two and a half by four, and just a scrap of Whisper White. Okay. I'm going to need um, the small bloom punch. I'm going to be using the greenery embossing folder. This one. This one. This one comes with two embossing folders. I'm just going to use this one. I'm using these flowers from Basket of Blooms, and then I'm using the Tasteful Touches. I'm using this one, this one, and this one. Okay. This particular card doesn't have a sentiment on it. You could add, you know, a hello or some a small sentiment if you wanted. I just figured it's a nice all occasions card. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take this piece, which is the um, two and half, oh no, this is the three by five and a quarter inch. And I'm going to run it through the embossing folder, run it through my machine. And I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. And there we go. Didn't need spritzing, it went through just once. Alright. Base aside, put this piece aside. Now we can do some stamping. <clears throat> I'm going to stamp the flowers first so I can punch those out. And I'm going to ink colors Pretty Peacock, Mossy Meadow, So Saffron. So get the Pretty Peacock out. I'm going to use this one first. I don't know if you can see it. It's this one. I'm just going to stamp it once full strength. Okay. Then the other flower one, this one. I'm going to stamp once full strength and then a second generation stamping. That's that. Okay, let's place that aside for a minute. Now I'm going to come in with the feather and I'm going to stamp that full strength with the uh, pretty peacock. And I'm basically stamping it pretty much in the center of the card. Maybe a little bit over towards the left and a little bit more towards the bottom, but. Okay, I'm done with the pretty peacock. Now we're going to take the so saffron. And this stamp. I'm going to stamp a little bit of background. I'm going to ink it up. I'm going to stamp it full strength once up here. And I'm just going to Use a little bit of this residual on here and just without re-inking, do a little bit more. Okay. <clears throat> Doesn't look like much yet. This come in with the mossy meadow. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this one. 
Okay, and I'm going to stamp down here, full strength. And I'm just going to repeat stamp a couple times. Up here, full strength. There we go. All right, let's come in with our punch. Punch out those flowers. couple of dimensionals. The white one's going to get glued down. Just a little bit of glue on the back. Just going to glue him flat. And then I'm going to put dimensionals on the back of each one of these flowers. You can use the little ones if you'd prefer. <clears throat> Excuse me, I apologize for clearing my throat so much, but I just have this post-nasal stuff going on and I can't help it. One goes up there. One goes down here. Okay, now this is going to get mounted onto the soft sea foam. <clears throat> All right. In our card base, this piece. It's going to get put over on the left hand side. It's going to have about an eighth of an inch border all the way around it on three sides. We need a couple more dimensionals for this. <clears throat> See if I can keep practicing with this and I don't be very successful with it. People make it look so easy. Okay. Let's pick them off. <laughs> I try. I keep trying. I figure if I keep practicing, eventually I'll get it. But it doesn't work for me for some reason. Okay, then this is going to be placed over on this side. There you go, and there's our card for today. It's really a fairly simple card. It's the one I did previous. Well, thank you for joining me at Jamie's Craft Table. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I hope you can find a little bit of time to play with some stamps, ink, and paper.